Da 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 da. You've been pranked. Actually, let me get in the mood. There you go. Hopefully, uh, this works. Hold on. There we go. All right. It's been a while since I solo streamed. Actually, I was planning to play Eve, but I didn't really feel like it. I keep starting. Actually, I should finish that game soon. It doesn't take long to finish, but anyway. Uh, welcome to the stream. Who needs introductions? It is me, Pizza Tatsuya. Actually, I might change that name, or I will not. Who cares? Uh, since it's uh, it's just me. And I think we're just gonna, you know, have a chill stream before Saturday night game starts. So we we're. Pl here we have AI Dungeon. What is AI Dungeon? Play and create adventures with infinite possibilities brought to life with one of the most advanced AIs in the world. Wow. I think uh, usually uh, with these types of things, it's not really what they advertise it to be. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's going to be a fun time. Welcome to AI Dungeon. There are a few tricks to use using the AI that can help you get started. Select any of the first four options for a brief overview of commands available to you. You'll learn the difference between action modes like do, story, and how to use buttons like retry, world information. You can skip or reselect scenarios at any time by leaving the menu in top left is automatically saved. Why am I playing this game actually? Uh, I like hearing the sound of my own voice and this game allows me to read a lot. And I like reading stuff out loud and pretend I'm a professional voice actor. Let's go. Uh, one. I want to defend my keep. Generating story. Uh, you are a noble living in the kingdom of Lorien. You are awakened by a loud noise outside the gate. You look out the window and see a large number of orcish raiders on the road outside the castle. You, your squire comes in with your sword and shield and helps you prepare for battle. Meanwhile, your guard commander comes in to brief you on the situation. Write what you want to do. Next, below, and submit it. Do, say, story. Ah, I see. So, I want to put on my armor. You put on your armor and buckle it into place. Where did you go, sir? All right, we're going to, great. That was generated by the AI. You can generate other potential responses by using retry. Ah, I see. See, I want, we must defend the castle. We must defend the castle. Soldier, are you sure that's a good idea? Defend the castle, a loud voice shout. Sir, yes, sir. Well, I, I was the one who said that. Who's actually commanding the army here? Everyone, to your posts. Everyone. You and your sol you and the soldier rush down to the stairs and out the door. Almost immediately, an orc with a crude sword slashes your squire through the neck, killing him instantly. Oh no, I must... Stab the orc! You stab the orc! <laughs> you stab the orc through the helmet, killing him instantly. An iron javelin smashes into your shield, pushing you to the side. Requesting backup! You see, what, what? They're sending a backup guard, their commander says. They won't arrive for at least another minute. You look down the castle ramparts to see the orc horde slowly approaching the castle. Man, the ballista! What kind of castle does not have a ballista? What? Take cover and fire at will! Those are ogres, sir. They'll tear us apart! Are you a coward? If you do not shoot, we will all die! I have to make- okay, my mic is on, good. Coward, you shout! The soldier sighs and raises his shield, beginning to shoot at the charging arcs. Uh... Present? <laughs> Wait, can, can, do we have, can we volley fire? Present! Aim! Fire! <laughs> Do we have muskets? You are many orcs fall. Those behind quickly try to stop but can't. Get the muskets! We must. Do we have? 
They're at the top of the castle. We can't get past them. You see an opportunity. <laughs> I want to piss on the orcs. Piss on the orcs. You piss on the orcs. You let... <laughs> yes. Take that. Yes. Take that. Sir, so they have a piss fetish. Excuse me? I'm just making them stronger. Go to the roof. Infinite Adventure Awakes. I want to play for free. Oh, I have to log in? Goddamn. Or right, hold on. Let me log in. Uh, hopefully this is my right email. There we go. Ah, oh, don't no way. Don't tell me it just Wait, what? I'll oh, continue game. All right, good. All right, we're back in the action. We're back in the action. <laughs> yes. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku pissed on the orcs. And by mean orc, I mean Piccolo. He pissed on Piccolo. <laughs> Grab bucket. Okay, sure. Piss in. <laughs> you must verify your email. Oh, come on. Another setback. To protect against DDoS attacks, we currently require verification to play the game. Ah, that's, uh, that makes sense actually. Alright. In a moment, people. We'll continue eventually. Oh no. Uh, whoops. That was not the right email. <laughs> Send me that email. All right, can we play now? There we go. Got shit in bucket. You shit in bucket. You look at the castle wall and spar a large bucket of excrement. You smile. Hey, let's use that. Throw bucket of shit at orc. They have a scat fetish as well, sir. You're only making them stronger. That's impossible. Grab the bucket of extra and launch it at the orcs. Laugh. You laugh. <laughs> the hit was successful. The bucket of extra smashes into the orcs' faces. They all fail to notice the long tongue that shoots out of their mouths. Hiss! The long tongue snarls. Okay, go to roof. You go to roof. You pull yourself up to the castle roof and look at the destruction below. The musket fire has slowed the charge of oaks. Also, we do have muskets. You can also see some of your men fighting the giant orgos on horseback. Summon the dragon! You jump on the castle roof. Where is the coward? You, your men ask you. Uh, shit. I didn't see. He's, he's deserted. He's deserted. Your men gasp. Are you sure, sir? I'm positive. Back, uh, back to the matters at hand. I must, uh... I must suit up. Go to the armory. You run to the army. Small barracks where all your men store their weapons. You grab a pistol, check the clip, and put it in your belt. 
I also need a grenade, just to be sure. You grab grenade. You grab a grenade and put it in your belt. You grab a combat knife. <laughs> I'm get I'm getting tactical up in here. Parry this, you casual. All right. Parry this, casuals. A sword pokes you in the ribs and you fall to the floor. I thought I might find someone here. Shoot at the voice. You sh shoot at the voice. Your pistol glows blue and you aim at the person who spoke. Put your sword down, you command. A figure steps into view. Who... Who are you? Who are you? Ah, uh, slowly orc, ma'am. Not wait, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I can work with that. It's an orc, smaller than those you've seen, but fully armored. He's carried a curved sword. What do you want? You're not attacking me like the others. What do you want? You're not attacking me like the others. Actually, I'm doing just that. I'm Captain Gross. Okay then, if you want it like that, pull grenade pin, <laughs> pull gr you sigh and pull the pin on the grenade, hold on I'll be right back, you run through the halls to the scene of fighting, oh what, throw a grenade, you aim the grenade at the group of orcs quickly running ahead of the explosion, did they explode? Did it work? The explosion occurs. You roll to the side and you quickly stand up and charge forward to the hallway. A few of wall hangs from the ceiling fall down from the explosion. This is going better than I expected. Fine, Captain Gruz. I must take down their leader. You see a figure fighting off three orcs. Just a lowly orc, sir. Capture. Capture Gruz. You capture Gruz. You grab Gruz's sword and pair, and the pair of you begin walking forward. The orcs don't pay much attention to you. You continue to fight for domination. Who are you? I. I am noble woman. I am the noble woman of this castle. You aim the no. What? what? Imps, a woman, you must be joking. You'll see, sir. You pull your pistol and shoot Kozlovich. <laughs> what? Diplomacy. Diplomacy was never the option. <laughs> what the fuck? Peace was never the option. Execute Gruz. Firing squad. You look at Gruz, unsure of what to do. What is your decision, uh, madam? You're not helping out the orcs. Kill Gruz. No, you say. You pull your sword out of his body. You work for the humans. Who are you exactly? Not. I am Leona. I am Leona. Am I supposed to know a human by that name? Why can't I just fucking kill him? <laughs> Are you leader of the orcs? No, I've never heard of the lion tribe. We have lots of new recruits. You'll have to. You'll probably be known as blue by someone. I see. Okay, this is a let's let's start a new game. Let's start a new game. Worlds prompts multiplayer. Oh my god, there's multiplayer. Hold on, worlds. Maelstrom. Oh jeez. Oh wow. Okay, let's pick a setting. Let's let's. Uh, I think my field of expertise would be cyberpunk. My character. My character is uh, a punk. Let's go vanilla. Enter your character's name. Huh, what's a good character name? Of course, I'm not gonna ask chat because nobody's watching. But, huh, you know what? I think uh, my name's gonna be Valerie. 
You know, let's play let's play tabletop let's uh, let's play proper tabletop cyberpunk 2077. My name's V. Name's V. <laughs> you are V, a punk living in futuristic city of Vale of Zale. You have a small Zori blaster hidden in your jacket and a hollow band on your wrist. You wake up in a dark alley with your bruises all over your body. You have no idea what happened. You stand up and see bloody piece of meat on the ground next to a black card with V written on it. You push it with your foot and realize it's a credit chip. You punch yourself in frustration. Check. Uh, I, I have a jacket already. Check. Examine myself. You examine yourself. Your physical appearance is average. You have short black hair and dark eyes. But you're skinny enough to be somewhat attractive. I see. Check inventory. I don't know why I have Skyrim music playing in a cybersunk setting, but... A toxic skin cream, the fuck? You can sell one of your items for money. Get out of alleyway. Actually, no. I want to examine the alleyway. This is like... I see a figure sitting at the end. It begins to turn to look at you. Look at the figure. You look at the figure. The figure is a humanoid robot. It is a black with metal shell that covers its entire body and consists of multiple panels that can be opened to reveal eternal organs. Oh dear. Approach robot. You approach the robot. The robot turns to look at you. It has yellow eyes, a black screen for a face, multiple long silver tentacles coming from the side of its head that can retract into the back of its head. What the fuck is this? Cyberpunk or Lovecraft? <laughs> what? Do you know know what happened to me. Did I get like butt fucked in the alleyway? Halfway between a snarl and a hiss, you should be dead. Who did this to me? Girl, it says I did. It stands up and walks towards you. I did. Hold on. We can we can work this out. We can work this out. It makes a noise and says echoing tries to grab you with all its tentacles. Oh god, I did get butt raped. <laughs> you were standing outside the abandoned warehouse where you found a junkie. Uh, wh what? Scream for help. Wait, this is cyberpunk. No one's gonna come for me. Run away. You run away. You run and jump to the driver's seat of your car. The robot can't follow you here. As it needs to open a path in order to move, you start the engine and drive off. Run over robot! You run over the robot. The robot lets out a terrible shriek as you drive over it. It begins to burn, melting down to a mass of burning wires and plastic. Get out of car. Modern problems require modern solutions. You walk inside, following the flashlight beams ahead of you. Go towards... You walk over the table, covered in an array of bright lights, created by what seems to be giant flashlights. You realize that these must have been the robot's eyes. There must be some sort of robot nearby. Okay, now let's see what happened last time I approached the robot. Uh, it, it tried to fucking tentacle penetrate me. <laughs> I don't know if I want that to happen again, but... but take eyes. <laughs> you take eyes. You grab the eyes off the table with both hands and run out the hallway. You find an elevator you would jump in. There's a hallway with doors on each side. Knock on doors. You knock on doors. You walk up to each door and knock. What? Uh, I'm looking for someone. You say carefully. I am I'm looking for my partner. I'm looking for my partner. The door opens and finds yourself standing a blood-stained, rotting flesh freak. It is faceless and completely broken. You see it have been, seems to have been hacked by part of electric shock. Holy fuck, you're ugly. Unallowed in strict safe mode. What? I don't want... Turn that shit off. Turn off safe mode. I wanna... Off. Yes, I'm over 18. 
Turn that shit off. We're mature men here. We're all mature adults. I say after I just typed piss on orcs. <laughs> Hisses at you. You quickly stay backward. You hear a door open at the end of... Look behind me. Is this cyberpunk or... Is this a fucking... Lo HP Lovecraft story? Look behind me. You quickly turn around and look at the hallway you came from and find it filled with robots. Oh god. Okay. What? <laughs> I run. You run. You start running down the hallway past rows of metal men. You stare at you with their dead emotional eyes. Your door opens somewhere in the distance. Keep running. You feel like your head is being pulled in half from behind. You see the look and you see mad from the middle of claw descending from the sky. Cut the claw. You turn around and begin hacking away at the claw. You can feel your head pulse and your arms tingling as you destroy the robot's arm. Grab arm. You tear your head off and fling it at towards- What?! Am I reading that correctly? Your brain explodes on impact, destroying what- Well, little of the- What? Am I reading that correctly? Okay. Run away. The claw slowly gets- well, I'm, I'm holding the claw! Shaking its head as pieces of your brain hit its face. Call for help. This is this is desperate. Help! It's mind blowingly good, dude. Your eyes widen as you see metal fit raise a raise a phone to his head and make a call. Help me! The metal man puts the phone back down and looks at you, shaking his head. Help you? No, I'm afraid it's too little too late for that. Please, spare me. I'm knee deep. The world is slowly white store. I'm afraid I can't do that. Examine area. You examine area. You find yourself in a barren warehouse and only several lights along the ceiling. Along one wall is the row of metal shelves, each stacked with boxes. All the boxes seem to be marked. Spill shelves on robots. This will make my escape. You quickly start pulling random boxes off the shelves, throwing them at the metal men. You break a few of their arms and they quickly set the box up. Who's there? It's me, V. Please help. The metal men look up at you and they got V, one of them says. The name's V. Just start acting cool all of a sudden. <laughs> if you don't help me, you're going to die. Why are you chasing me? Why are you chasing me? The rock pauses. We're not chasing you. And what's your attention? You get a drink of water. We're in an elevator. Okay, maybe it's not that good. <laughs> Back away. I don't have time for this. We're not going to hurt you, V. Why did you call us? I have amnesia. I don't even I don't even remember calling for you. I don't even remember calling for you. You yelled out looking for help. Who are you? The name's V. You look at the other robots and realize that all of them are called V. <laughs> Are you good robots? I can't tell which is which. We're not good or bad, we just work. You should have a name, V does. Some rogue androids tried to murder me. Some rogue androids tried to murder me. And now you're trying to save me? Nothing of the sort. I'm just trying to stay out the way. What do you mean? You know, I'm just gonna leave. 
Leave warehouse. You get back on the hallway and you see more and more androids, dozens of them all identical to the librarian standing side by side. Hello? A speaker cracked your song. I wanna listen. Listen. The rogue programs have become sentient and taking over the Belgian. All androids are under control and attack anyone they see as a threat. Well, I could've... I could've... Need... I could've like... You know... <laughs> Maybe I could've used that information like uh, an hour ago. Clean myself. You know what? Find showers. Find showers. You can only search for a door labeled south. A massive room. Clean myself. You clean yourself. You sit on the toilet, quickly cleaning yourself, and showers spark flies over you. How do you turn it off? You think yourself. Put on clothes. You put on clothes. You quickly change out your dirty clothes and grab a pair of jeans and hoodie. You head through the door before seeing another door labeled kitchen. Go to kitchen. You slowly open the door and greeted by a large room. The whole place is filled with tables and long wooden counters, clearly designed for preparing food. Uh, try to find... Find exit. I want to head to the city. You find exit. You quickly hurry along the hard way for an exit. Gift shop. Go to gift shop. Maybe I can find someone here. Filled with trinkets and knickknacks. Clear design for people with a love of cosplay. Find samurai. <laughs> find samurai jacket. You find samurai jacket. You browse the shop for a while before picking a heavy leather jacket. But it would look great on you. Try it on, it fits perfectly. <laughs> Fly jacket. Put on samurai jacket. Chipping in. Yeah, you feel like a total badass. You get a lot of comments about the jacket. You wander around the store before you find what's like an exit. Go to exit. Yeah, boy. I'm chipping in. <laughs> Great by thousands of androids, all lined in rows. You're a brave soul to be here. What's happening here? We're the next generation of androids, new androids. What does that mean? You're no longer controlled. We're no longer controlled. We can think for ourselves, decide for ourselves. That's an unusual trait for androids. We're no longer androids, we're humans with android brains. Like, wow. You belong to no one now? Are you independent? Are you independent? We're human with Android points. We're not independent. What happens if you disagree? We have free will. That doesn't sound very safe. Is there a way to break you out? Is there a way to free you? We're not sure how this happened. We're investigating it now. That's nice, but I need you to do something for me. Of course, what can we do for you? We must liberate the androids. Detroit, we understand. We will help any way you can. I need you all to store in the factory where your brains were taken. Find the scientists who did this and kill them. Do it. You watch this endless fleet of androids march into the factory. What will you do now? You have a lot of options now. Uh, examine options. Let's see what we can do here. You're in a room. Identical teens is very dimly lit. Androids, it's time for your freedom. For three of the spring into action, they charge at you, blade strong. Wait, what? 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 
do nothing. You do nothing. And the order to attack, they slam onto you and they shatter your armor with ease. You grab one, tossing him against them. <laughs> okay, maybe Cyberpunk is not the greatest. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do fantasy. Select the character. I am a. I am a ranger. Actually, no. Let's be a knight. Or could we be a noble? Hmm, let's be a noble. Enter your character's name. Uh, I actually, actually never played D&D before. If I had a character, it would be... Caroline. Generating story. You're Caroline. Oh no. Look out window. New quest, get revenge. What? Survive and attack your keep. Oh, okay. You look out window, you rush to the window and see a horde of- Oh no, not the orcs again! <laughs> Call soldiers. You quickly run to the sword and start arm themselves and defend the gate. You find the door to the soldiers in the room locked. You start kicking it in. Stop. Raise the alarm! <laughs> Kicking the door and you stumble out into the hallway. You see a large wooden door in front of you with an emblem of dragon engraved to the front. Go. Go in. You go in. Moving quickly, you raise the arm to the fire. Oh. Okay. Go through dragon engraved door. Stabbing through the door, you see an orc standing there. You pull an arrow and shoot it, hitting the orc in the neck. He falls to the ground, dark red liquid leaking out of his neck. Is this where the alarm is? Pull the alarm. You move quickly, grabbing a steer for an orac and slotting air into the string. You run outside with your soldier and you pull out a horn. Blow horn. Blowing the horn causes the general call to arms your soldiers, waiting for orders. The archer tells inside as they pass through the dates. Defend the castle! <laughs> your orders are soldiers to defend the castle. They do so with honor. The orcs howl with rage, charging into the castle. Go to gate. Castle gate. It's great. It's great. You turn and run quickly through the castle. You grab a soldier on your way out and shove him inside the door. Help the injured, you shout. Look around. You look around and see orcs pouring through the castle grates. They're growing closer. Your soldiers look ready to collapse. It's obvious they aren't going to win this battle. Uh, find orc leader. You push past the soldiers and run to the front gate. There you find a large orc carrying a bloody sword. He sees you and lets out a cry. Snipe the leader. Looking down the sights of your boy, you take aim at the orc's forehead and pull the trigger. The arrow flies forward, sticking into the orc's head. Keep shooting. You fire a few more orcs into the orc's or before it falls backwards. The gate being smashed open. Your full soldiers are being pushed back. You have to get out of here. Well, uh, no. Is this, a, this is a losing battle. Soldiers. Retreat into the castle. You shot your soul before you're struck inside the head from behind. You collapse to the ground as you're struck again. Roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. We're playing Dark Souls. Dodge roll. Dodge to the left. You manage to avoid being bludgeoned to death with a sword. The large orc kicks you in the side, knocking you flat on your face. Crawl away. You crawl away. The orc step forward and runs his sword through your chest. Ah! Call upon the power of the gods. <laughs> the quest is over. It's such a... 
I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. I guess. Okay. Let's let's check out worlds. What's in worlds? Free worlds. Kedar, fantasy, dark, Kringle. Ew. Okay, let's fantasy. I am a I am a knight. And your character's name. Let's play Carolina the second. Hold on. You are Caroline the second. A knight living in the kingdom of Larion. You have a long steel sword and a wooden shield. You are on a quest to defeat the evil dragon of Larion. You've heard he lives up the north kingdom. You set the path to defeat him. Walk into the dark forest. As you enter the forest, you see a black cloaked figure hiding behind a tree. Shall we ride together in the north? I don't date. I don't date to go to my home. What happened? I was just bitching about work. I don't like my job. You know what? Let's let's ride together. Let's ride together. I do not ride with strangers. Wait! I'm not a stranger. I'll explain later. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. You're about to continue until you see a large human. Oh dear. You walk past it. Who goes there? Seem seems you frightened it. You pull out your longsword and back towards the figure. Armed and able. Show yourself. Figure does so. It is a large man, more muscular than other men you see. His face is covered in dark shoals. Hands like hooves. Are you hostile? Snarls and lets out a loud roar. You, you leap back in time. A large claw is coming to slash towards you. I am Grozar, leader of these the giants in these forests. Come to stop. You. Come to stop my quest. What are you? Slap. Peace was never an option then. Peace was never an option then. I've nerd about your viewers. You create magnificent tales about us. But you never stop to think about your legends might be true. Do you know how much stamina it will take to operate a giant body? I'm strong. I respect strong warriors. I thank you, human. Meet another gifted of the arena. You raise your shield. Check spells. You check spells. You have to cast light on your shield. You're a clever one, you know that? What? Check. Throw. Throw spikes. You throw spikes. You throw spikes forward and they just stick to the ground. You're strong indeed. You throw weapons that are not there. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, so apparently I can't just pull shit out of my ass. <laughs> Defend. You defend and strike a powerful glow against your foe. You defend. Swings misses wildly. He tries again to strike. Look for an opening. Try to look for an opening, but Grossop is wise to that. He swings his axe, but you duck and ram your sword into his stomach. Push sword deeper. I am a master of penetration. 
tries to stop you, but he's too late. You pull the sword out of him. Slice his knee. You slice, he falls. You raise your swords for the killing blow, but instead, you would roll to the side and get back up. Do you wish... It would be smart to surrender. It would be smart to surrender. Never. Fine. So be it. You don't understand. Why do you why do you want to throw up your life so badly? I used to not want to die. Though that was when I was a mere mortal. What happened? What happened? I was in the arena. The gladiators are in the jungle. I will show you, he says. Show me. He turns around and starts walking towards the gun. What happened to you? What happened to you? The lion tore me apart. It was a fearsome beast, trained by the best hunters to hunt down the raiders and bandits and infest these forests. I only, I only had, only I had the misfortune of getting in his way. Not that bad for a giant. I'll accept that compliment. The trees begin to thin, and you find yourself by the edge of the massive jungle. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself. You prepare yourself. Two massive black beasts. You're faced worst. You have no idea what he's talking about. Examine beasts. Thick, wild, and mangy. With long fangs that could tear your part in a single bite. Examine the other beast. Much thinner than the beast one, with a more refined ex appearance. Walk towards them slowly. These are just lion beasts, they're common in jungles. They're probably looking for prey as we speak. Disarm. Disarm. Beast one charges forward, looking like it wants to leap on you, but you put your hand forward and suck the beast at it. Beast, bow to me! Back away. Fear is in his eyes. What are you doing? It sees me as an alpha predator. I command respect. Try to act confidently. A uh, confidently. You command respect to the beast. Now bow to me. Okay. Just, just watch. I guess. <laughs> just watch. Beast 2 slowly walks forward, lowering its head as it walks. Slowly it walks up to Grussup, who raises his hand. Hmm. Seems to respect you. Of course it does. I'm the leader. You keep an eye on both of them. As a matter of fact, you need to keep two of them focused at once. Up. It's a dragon, guys. Will you help me? Defeat it. A dragon? I never heard that there was aren't any in this area. There isn't much to tell. It flies around, burning the countryside with cinders. Burns. Seen the devastation. If you do not act, it will destroy your home too. My, my home is my business. It's only gonna get the job done with all the nonsense. I have a plan to defeat it. I have a plan to defeat it. I'm not following your plan then. 
I don't have time to mess around with you and your silly stories about dragons and magic spells. I want these beasts back now. Take your beasts. Then. Fine, I'll try to tame some of them, but I can't make them do what I want. Well, it's worth a shot. You tried training. Have you tried training them? Tame them? No. I don't understand. Are you saying I can control them? I thought only wizards could do that. They respect you. They just need to learn how to control their actions. Order. Be a pack. I don't know. I'm not a wizard. I told you. They respect you. Well, I don't know who's I don't know who's saying you. Okay, uh, look around. Check party. These two steps were staring at. It stares at your hand. You feel hair is the back of your neck stand up as you realize what's going to happen. Try to control the beast. Try to control the beast. Morphs into something else. Morphs. Wow, you say. Beast one snarls, starting towards you. Dodge and tackle it. You dodge and tackle Beast one. You dive into right and he slams into you. You both roll into the dirt and snarls and bites you. Wrestle! Wrestle the beast! <laughs> you wrestle the beast! I win! No fairy says struggling against you. What? It's suddenly speaking? You can speak? You can speak? <laughs> I can't, then why did you not beg for mercy? Because I'm a ferocious beast that doesn't easily give up its kill. It is clear I am stronger. So you should listen to me. It is clear I am stronger. Fine. Your plan is foolish, you say. The dragon will crush you in your village, perhaps. But what can I do? I must gather, gather talented people before I cannot defeat the dragon alone. I must gather talented people. Bah! You wish, he says. The dragon will not be no match for our village's warriors, even if the beast has already destroyed much of it. Then let's recruit them. Then let's recruit them. I was planning to. You could help if you weren't such an arrogant, proud loner. I wasn't. Tr I wasn't trying to. I'm trying not to be. He paints your arm, and you feel. Oh no! No more talk. You're coming with me. What? What? what, 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 what do as they say? Well, what, that, that. I'm sorry, but if you wish to help, stop, well, come with me. You realize he means it. Come with them. They guide you out the village and into the wilderness. Wait here. I'll go and get the rest. He walks away, leaving you alone. Wait. You wait. What's the plan? We follow the dragon and try to surround it. Most of the village. You should come with us. You're strong enough. I plan to. Next, Beast One turns and begins to walk away. You coming? Ask Beast Two. You stare at them for a second. Come. Yes, I will join you. Good. I'm on. The sooner we find the dragon, the sooner we can go home. 
look for signs of drag. Trail looks fresh. Do you think it can still seize us? Of course. Sneakily follow the trail. This could be a trap. If it is, it's not going to work. Examine surroundings. You're standing in a jungle. The sky is focused. Vicious. There are several light lighter patches which represent the jungle's splendor. There's lots of plants here. It's hard to describe. It's a jungle. Many plants you've never seen before. Sound familiar looking in a strange environment. Look for dragon. It's hard to see, but you look I can't see it. Look for tracks. You kneel down, he's down to soft mud. I can't see anything. Check further. Do you see that? Tracks leading off the path. They're like the ones we saw, but much deeper. It's close. Let's follow them. Follow tracks. Stick to the path. Look at sky. This guy's dark, which makes try to spot dragon. Dragon can't be seen. It must be hiding. Climb stable and tall tree. There's a large, sturdy-looking tree in the middle of the clearing. Climb to the top. I don't see it. I don't see it. No luck. We need to find it. It's the only one that can kill this beast. What do we do now? The beast has been flying around. Could be anywhere. We'll have to search the jungle and see if we can find its hiding place. Maybe. It lives. In a cave. Let's try some claves. Have no luck. Find cave. Large crack in the rock. I think I should really go. Really? Light torch. You lead the way holding a piece of burning wood. You look down, but the caves goes lower and lower. Carefully descend. Slowly walk down the cave. The torch splurting gets dark. And you take out your phone and turn on the light. What? There, oh, okay. Go further. Try to navigate. Trying to navigate the stairs to get back up. You see the vent leading up to the door. Open door. Jungle splitting all on you. Fine dragon. Call. 
for the others. I found the dragon. Our chances grow. Become slimmer. Our chances become slimmer. Try is the only one who could kill the beast and split the area. We need to go after it. Chase the dragon. How to train your dragon. Keep chasing. Call to dragon. What? What? What are you doing? Shout at dragon. If you shout it, it might stop and see what you want. <laughs> but it pays no attention. It soars further into the sky, out of your reach. You know what? Fly. You fly. You leap into the air, hovering. You fly after the dragon, who looks back and notices you. What is that? That dragon turns, flying away from you. Dragon! <laughs> Go away! Yeah, call the dragon! It's what you do! <laughs> call out to the dragon! <laughs> hey, dragon! Uh huh? Fly closer to the dragon. I wasn't talking. Okay, let's not. Let's just ignore that part. Aim for its wings. You fly at the dragon's wings and leap. You're not large enough to wrap around a wing. Beast. Cut wings. You dive at the wing and dive under it. You quickly burst back up to the other side of the wing. You want know try to ride dragon. Tame the dragon. Dragon dreamer. Keep choking. You keep squeezing the dragon's mind. What? 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 Did I do it? Did I do it? I I defeated the dragon. Wait. That was lame. It says staring at you with its yellow eyes. I did. It worked, didn't it? It worked, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess it did. Now we hunt the beast. We? You need the strong and I need the smart. What? You are a strong dragon. I take... Follow my orders. We can become... We can... I'm listening, so I will need you to lend me your strength to defeat the beast. I will need you to lend me your strength. Are you sure? Alright then, I'll be here when you need me. You Villagers. We can live in peace. You can make friends with the villagers. Oh, you fly into the. 
And you let out, okay. Fine beast. Ask where the beast is. Okay, now I'm like Vegeta. It's b b b b b b b beast. Tell, tell her to calm down. Tell her to calm down. Calm? I'm scared shitless. Where's the beast? The girl continues to start before pointing into the woods. Nod. You nod. Huh. Okay, hold on. Uh, well, I guess, I guess it can always be free, I guess. No, it sucks. What can you do? This was a fun adventure. At least I finished the quest before the energy ran out. I'm gonna try the cyberpunk one again and see if it works. Ah, uh, yep, it doesn't work. Ah, cripe. Well, that was the that was that was the only thing I could have done. That was the only thing I planned to do. What else am I gonna do on this stream now? <laughs> finish, finish Eve? No. <laughs> I love to procrastinate. Well, actually, hold on. I'll make a second stream then. Actually, I should. It's actually two. I should prepare. Yeah, I'll prepare for Saturday Night Live. Because it's going to start soon. 